What's going on, guys? This is Team Member here at Dolph Ride Doors. Um, I want to take this moment to do a product review. Um, we're about midway through Dolph Ride's trout season. We pretty much quit fishing by the end of May, early June, and really focus on bass fishing wise. But just hit May 1st today. Um, so, what I want to do is do a product review on a product I just bought this year. Um, redid all my trout stuff this year. Um, looking at the uh, St. Croix Trout Series. The uh, 6.4 light action and this has been an absolute workhorse for me this year um, I've been fortunate enough to have probably the best trout that I've had with um, gosh four different trout over with it were um, 17 inches or bigger um, two rainbows from my coming actually four over 18 sorry two from my coming uh, one from pine one from Lolosock as well as a 17 from pine. Um, all those were rainbows other than the, a 19 inch golden from pine, which is my biggest this year, both large, long, and fat. But what all those trout have in common is they're all cut on this rod and not all on the same bait either. Um, this has been probably the best trout rod I've ever owned. My only complaint that I have fixed with this is the fact that it's two piece. I hate two piece rods, but I wanted a longer light action rod, so I just put a little bit of super glue there. That doesn't move anymore. So that's not an issue anymore, but the sensitivity on this rod's great. Now, just for reference here, um, right now on this rod, I have on a, uh, one of my favorite trout baits. It is a 316 ounce uh, Rapala Countdown. Um, this rod is absolutely perfect. Um, backbone, sensitivity, everything. Throwing countdowns, um, small jerk baits, spinners, any reaction baits. Um, very tippy. About a 50 50 bend, so it's pretty parabolic there. Um, so you're not ripping the hooks out of fish's mouth with that. Um, so great for that. Um, and of those four trout, I'm actually those five between adding the 17 incher. Um, there has only been one of them that was on uh, the reaction bait. Actually, two of them, sorry, two of those five were on these. Um, the other three fiber runs just, just very soft plastics with just fishing and bait style with just a split shot and a hook. This is also great for that too with that longer rod. You get that longer casting distance and it actually it helps your drift a lot too. And again, when the fish is fighting, it really helps fight well. Um, the present XT size 25, um, great drag system in that for an $80 reel, but um, can't say enough great things about this rod. Um, those larger fish bite really hard so sometimes a lot of the light ultralights are underpowered that's why I pretty much only use ultralights for either small streams or spots where I have a lot of overhanging trees where I gotta do a lot of underhand casts and pitches which this rod would be in the way but anything that I have open big water this is what I use um, retails at 140 highly recommend this I'm gonna have this rod for years to come um, this is like I said this is my go-to combo great for drifting live bait plastics but also great for those reaction baits so um just coming to you guys tonight just wanted to give you the product review on the uh St. Croix Trout Series so 64 light action again only complaint is it's two piece but a little super glue can fix that make that a one piece again um other than that it's just an awesome combo uh and an awesome rod highly recommended so team member come to you with the product review on the six foot four St. Croix light action trap series rod. Thank you for watching this Dual Threat Outdoors video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more Dual Threat Outdoors content.